woman who helped deliver her best friend's baby realizes it's her husband's child. A woman who helped deliver her best friend's baby claimed that just days later, she discovered that her own husband was the father of the child. Haley Custer, 28, from Wickenburg, Arizona, said she was left heartbroken after finding out her husband of six years, Travis Bowling, 36, had allegedly cheated on her with her close pal. The mother of four said after being there every step of the way to support her unnamed best friend during the pregnancy and birth, including wearing the hospital's daddy wristband, she was devastated when she spotted a birth defect on the baby's neck that was identical to one her husband has. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. After confronting the pair about her suspicions that her partner had fathered the baby, she claimed her worst fears were confirmed, and she now alleges that Bowling had cheated on her with up to 30 women during her marriage. Despite the infidelity, Custer said she welcomed her friend into her home after she gave birth because she had nowhere to go. She said, I kept thinking of my kids. At the end of the day, that is their blood sibling, and I'm not going to be the one who causes harm to that child." Custer, who is a recovering drug addict, shared her story on TikTok and she quickly went viral, with one video gaining over 3.4 million views. She explained in one clip that she decided to get sober after she became pregnant with her own child years earlier. I had uh, been forced to sober up because I found out I was pregnant. And she wanted to help her friend who was also an addict do the same. When I found out my friend was using um, and she found out she was pregnant, I just wanted to, to do what was right and, and make sure that she was safe and that she was taken care of. And so I brought her into my life again. Custer, who works in administration, also opened up about the situation to Cater's News. And she told him that she noticed her friend and her husband getting close but didn't think anything of it. We're all charismatic people, so we all had that nature to be charismatic around each other and make jokes. I didn't see anything there, she said. I was very naive, so I just didn't think it would be possible for someone to do that." She explained that she helped take her friend to doctor's appointments, drove her to the hospital while she was in labor and was right by her side when she gave birth. So it was a beautiful experience at the end of the day for me. Um, I'll never forget that and I was just happy to be a part of that, right? She added on TikTok. She also told Caters, And when she was in labor, she called me, I drove her to the hospital. Um, I was with her when she got her epidural, and I wore the daddy wristband, and I gave the baby her first bath. But when she noticed a hereditary defect on the baby's neck a few days after they got home from the hospital, she claimed that she knew right away that the baby was her husband's. Uh, through a hereditary birthmark, which I'm very familiar with because my oldest son has it. It's an extra piece of cartilage that goes, grows out of the side of their neck, so he looks like a little Frankenstein baby. She explained on the video streaming app. So I was changing her daughter and I noticed that she had what we call the bowling bumps and several of his other children have it as well and so I knew exactly that that baby was, was, at, was my husband's at the time. She told Cater she remembered feeling shock come over her. She added, He was standing next to me when I was changing the baby and that's when we both saw that birthmark. Um, we kind of looked at each other. I had to step outside. There were no words that were said, I just knew. For me, it was a state of shock for a little bit. I walked outside when I first found out and just prayed. I keep hearing the words over and over in my head, bigger picture. Like I said, there was an innocent baby involved, and at the end of the day, like, I was just looking at the bigger picture, not really where my feelings were at. Really I was in a lot of shock in the beginning. I couldn't even process what had happened. It was almost like a stage of grief. Like you have your shock, your anger, and then you come to the conclusion that this is actually real life. This is actually happening. But Custer said she was keen to help her best friend and continued to let her live at her house. She told Caters, Now we have this innocent child who had no say in this whole situation. You have someone who doesn't have anywhere to go, no family. We're not going to kick him to the streets. I keep thinking about my kids. At the end of the day, that's their blood sibling, and I'm not going to be the one who causes harm to that child. So she ended up staying with us. She did end up staying, uh, staying with us a little bit longer. She actually, I used to joke that it was a sister wife situation to kind of get through. They stayed with us and I ended up taking care of the baby. The dad was never around, still battling addiction and couldn't take responsibility. He didn't want to admit it was his. There were a couple instances where he came home and he was upset and he actually physically abused both of us. 
I always say that she was a victim as well. Especially when you're dealing with addiction, you'll do anything for your drug of choice and he was the biggest drug dealer where I'm from, so it is what it is, I get it. After the alleged heartbreaking ordeal, Haley said she found forgiveness within herself. She explained on TikTok, Everything happens for a reason and I'm still friends with her today. I still love her. I forgive her. I just hope she can forgive herself. Everyone makes mistakes. And really, I just there's no hate in my heart for either party. Um, my ex-husband and me have three children together and so I have to co-parent with him. And at the end of the day, my now um, ex-best friend's daughter is my children's sister. While chatting with Cater, she also opened up about some of the comments she's received since posting about the situation online. She said, I've had one or two comments who are obviously men and narcissistic who said, well, if you take care of your man, he wouldn't have cheated. A lot of comments, though, have been supportive of me, but there's some heat towards my friend which I try to shut down as soon as possible because that wasn't my goal. It's got 3.4 million views now and has just blown up. It's huge for everyone to know that I've found forgiveness for myself. I've had to find forgiveness for myself and for the children. That's the main point. You can walk through anything in life and you can find forgiveness. It just heals you from the inside out. When you don't forgive yourself, it's like you drinking poison and wanting them to die. When I forgive for myself, it means I'm forgiving because I can't stay sick anymore. Bowling and Custer's close friend have declined to comment. Custer is now happily remarried. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.